following program may contain mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to night number five of the Most Wanted Tournament. This is the final night of, of this round robin tournament, and we will see who will join Luca Khan in the semifinals at Most Wanted for the Gold Standard Block. Unfortunately, it won't be this man right here, Spike Spiegel, uh, who got eliminated. I do believe it was in the previous episode, or at least the previous night. Spike Spiegel, at least going to try to finish off this tournament. More than with four points. As the man he will go up against is a man looking to end most wanted with at least some points. As the man he'll be going up against is longtime rival Speedy. Arsenal, Roy Harper, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Spike Spiegel had a very promising uh, start to the most wanted tournament when he defeated Jeremy Paisley in, in the night number one main event. But after that uh, draw with the angry video game nerd on night number two, things have just kind of went downward for Spike in this tournament. Speaking of the angry video game nerd, he will be going one-on-one -on -one with Luca Khan. Luca, who's already guaranteed in the semifinals. He'll be going up against the angry video game nerd. And here's the thing, Luca Khan, win or lose, he's going to the semifinals. However, if the angry video game nerd is able to pull off the upset, it will be the angry video game nerd who will be joining. Who will be joining Luka Khan at most one in the GOAT Standard semifinals. And our main event will pretty much just, <laughs> unfortunately, will be Nolan Boyd. However, if Luka Khan defeats the angry video game nerd here tonight, our main event, which will be Unchained Clashing here tonight as Jamal Bedlam will be going one-on-one -on -one with Jeremy Paisley. Whoever wins that match, if Luka Khan defeats the angry video game nerd here tonight, whoever wins between Jamal Bedlam and Jeremy Paisley, they will be the one who will be meeting Luka Khan at Most Wanted. And the most interesting thing about that main event is both Luke, but both Jeremy and, and Jamal, excuse me, uh, have... Uh, Eight, eight pins by Luka Khan during this tournament. Luka, who's looking to finish off this tournament with a perfect score. With that magical 15 points. Right now he currently stands at 12. And Monaghan rings for the bell. Monaghan, who's been... Working overtime these past couple of nights. And right now, Luca, I mean, Spike and Speedy. This is about pride right now. Like I said, longtime rivals, longtime enemies in the WWA. Speedy, a former WWA World Heavyweight Champion, former. Holy Grail champion, New Don. Spike Spiegel, a former champion, ACL. Or two time world champion, I do believe. He has since gone on a redemption arc in WWA. At one point, being one of the most hated men in wrestling, in VWU. 
And now you can say that uh, that moniker kind of belongs to at least... At least we know Speedy's a little bit more hated than than Spike. And right now, look at that triangle choke there. Using the rope as an assistant. Speedy going to the top rope and... Oh! Elbow drop right to the heart of Spike Spiegel. I'll try to go for that forearm. And oh, what a kick there by Spike Spiegel on the Speedy. Speedy, who's currently sitting that goose egg right now. Has not won a single match here in this tournament. He does not want to finish this tournament off with no points at all. And it would be very embarrassing for Speedy if he goes the entire tournament. Not only not getting any points, but in the last chance that he has to even get any points at all, he loses the Spike. <laughs> so right now, this is about pride. These two men. And this is also just... Another chance to try to get a win over the other. I'm pretty sure even though Speedy is disappointed in his performance in this tournament, a win over Spike will at least be an all right, oh, will be an all right, I guess, participation award. And, whoa! Try to go for that bicep indeed, but Spike Spiegel moves out of the way. And now look at Spike with that. Oh! Kick to the face! Spike Spiegel. Who is nursing a back injury that he sustained within this tournament. Oh my god! Russian leg sweep. Spike is injured. We don't know the severity of the injury. We do know after this tournament, Spike will, will be checking in with, with VW medical staff. And we're going to try to see what the severity is of that of that back injury. As, as that Samoan driver there connects there by Speedy. Can I say that that back injury has been what's been the Achilles heel for Spike since the uh, Angry Video Game match. We saw how he pretty much crumbled when he was trying to pick up Jamal Bedlam, which might have aggravated the injury. Right now, look at this helicopter spin here by Speedy, by Arsenal. Again, not one of the most well-liked men in VWU. You know, I've talked to Adam about this. Adam Adam finds it kind of hilarious that Speedy, is of a big mouth that he is, has gone this entire tournament without a win. Speedy. Oh! Speedy is pretty... He'll be going... He'll be going to New Dawn, and he'll be going to WWA with some egg on his face. That If he loses here tonight, the... Had this big opportunity in for the most wanted tournament. A chance to get a shot at the VW World title. I believe it would be like his second shot. Because I do believe him and Sly fought for this belt in WWA. That he would go back to WWA or New Dawn. And had finished the tournament with no points. Oh, I know that will... I don't know if that will humble him or... Make him more psychotic and more desperate to show that he is. Oh! That he is who he says he is. And right now, look at this arm bar here. It was. Oh! Spike was trying to fight the wrenching, but, but Speedy has that wrenching on going on with, with the arm. Spike trying, trying to figure a way out. It punches the face there by 
Spike on to Speedy and oh try to go for that Larry, but Speedy ducks ducks it and now Speedy with the neck breaker. You know the hit is proud of Spike. Even with the injury that he has sustained, Spike is has 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 opted not to you know forfeit the tournament. He wanted to continue on with the tournament with the pile driver. You can say, oh, I don't think Spike Ray cares about cares about you know. Winning or losing, it's about you know finishing this tournament. It is it is about pride for Spike? Or for for Speedy, it's about his ego, which kind of similar in a way. But once this more oh, once this more looked upon favorably than the other. That being pride versus ego. Even though they're pretty much brothers. Now look at this. Punch there to the face there. And that little forearm there by Spike. Now look at these knees by Spike Spiegel. And now Spike boots him in the face. Taking Speedy down. I hope you all have been enjoying this tournament. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Messaging. I mean, I got a text message. It's just uh, UWL business. But I hope you all have been enjoying this tournament. We have seen some. Oh, God, look at this. Look at Spike Spiegel. Look at Spike Spiegel go right now in that. Oh! Half Nelson Bulldog there. And I. Oh, try to go for that super kick. And now let's hoist him up. Oh, and neckbreaker! Oh, clothesline. In this tournament, we have seen some great performances. We have seen some great matchups. We've seen some first times. Wait a minute, wait a minute, look at that. Oh! That, that rotation face buster of, of his. He's been, he's been uh, using that throughout the tournament. I don't know if it's been that hasn't been very really been useful for him. I guess he was trying for something different. Let's arguing with Monaghan. Not the best thing to do right now as Spike takes advantage with that uppercut to the back of the neck. Oh, elbow there by Spike. Chop there. And now Lewis hoisting him up in the fireman's carries position. And a, oh, Samoan driver takes him down. One, two. I don't know if it was the camera angle, but it looked like Speedy's foot was on the rope, but again, it could be camera angle there. Unless Speedy with the snap mare. Oh, kick to the back of the neck. Now Speedy, once again with the snap mare. Was hoisting him up, and oh my god, snap! Regal plex there by Speedy, but only gets a two and drops the knee across the face. So we have seen some great. Matches throughout this tournament on both the Rising Star and the Gold Standard. Probably need to put my phone on silent. <laughs> Very professional, man. I know. This hooks the leg. One gets two there by Spike. Speedy run to the outside. And oh, but look at these. Oh, look at that punch there. That forearm across the face there by Speedy on the spike. And now, oh, Sp Speedy, Speedy. Oh, Kiwi Crusher to the outside. Dropping 
spike on the back of his neck, but also on on that injured back. Was hooks the leg. Was one, two, no. Start seeing the desperation. Wait, wait, what the hell? What the hell? Speedy just clocked Monahan with a clothesline. Oh no, he has a damn chair. He has a dog to the ribs. To the damn ribs. Oh, come on. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You can't. You couldn't do it on your own. Ah! You couldn't do it on your own. One, two. Let's look at my hand. Two, three. Monahan. He was dazed. He was confused. And unfortunately, unfortunately for Spike, his last match comes with an L. Thanks to Speedy. This was. This was absolutely sick, man. Speedy just showing his desperation. Showing that he did not want to lose this tournament. Well, not lose this tournament, but he did not want to, you know, finish this tournament with zero wit zero wins and that final win and that final loss being against Spike Spiegel. As Speedy finishes the tournament with three points. Gets his first and only victory in the tournament. And it was against Spike. At least I think that's at least good enough for him. That's definitely going to bring up old tensions. Down there in WWE between those two. Absolutely embarrassing. But right now we have some sponsors. This, uh, this tonight is sponsored by the Four Corner Post, the Four Post Massacre Podcast, and also the Blitz Aid, Blitz Aid, Build the Drizzle, Black O's Car Wash, Make Them Bitches Shine, and of course, Hako's Canadian Tacos, the best Ken Mex cuisine this side of the this side of the Mississippi. But that's enough uh, wallowing and what previously happened in our last match. As it's now time for the angry video game nerd to take on Luca Khan. If the nerd beats Luca here tonight, it will be him and Luca that will make it to the semifinals. And unfortunately, Jamal and Jeremy Paisley will just be fighting for third place. But third place gets you nowhere in this tournament as it was all about who was going to finish first and second. And they're looking to try to get to the semifinals. He has to beat Luka Khan, but Luka Khan has been on a whole different level since the start. Since the absolute, since the start of this most won a tournament, he has been in his environment. But we cannot look past the angry video game nerd, a, war, a former world champion, a former VW multiverse champion. And this man himself has stepped up his game since since this match, since this tournament started. Definitely showing that virtual pro wrestling uh, addiction he's been having. But right now, there he is. Luca Khan, the match scientist of technical wrestling. He's been an absolute beast in this tournament. Luca Khan, ever since being announced, has, has just been... Draining his ass off for this tournament. This tournament, I guess it has been up Luka Khan's alleyway. It's It's been five consistent nights. It's just been night after night after night. And the endurance of Luka Khan cannot be... 
can never be questioned. Luka Khan definitely is on a different level. But you can say the same thing about James Rolfe, at least how he's been performing in the tournament. And here we go. James Rolfe versus Luka Khan. And oh, look at that. Oh my god. What a kick there by Luka Khan. And James Rolfe is like, is that the best you got? Oh, look at that forearm there by, by the nerd. And oh, we're about to have ourselves here a strike exchange. Or at least I thought we were. And boom, oh, psycho there by, by James Rolfe. Now James, Irish whips look into the corner there. Hoist him up. What is, what is James thinking here? Uh-oh. Has him in the belly to belly. Belly to belly suplex there by James Rolfe. And now look at James mounting Luka Khan. Series of punches there. You know, picking Luka back up. And oh, try to go for another punch there. All right, just into the corner. Look at these kicks by Luka Khan. And now, oh, kick to the face. And try to go for the lariat. Oh, look at these kicks and these strikes by Luka Khan. I stripped off the rope. Oh, try to go for the leg kick there. James with that forearm across the face. And now James, oh, look at the standing quarter kicks. Nicely done there by James Rolfe. And now James, oh, Working on the arm of Luka Khan. And now Lewis once again mounting Luka with these series of punches. Oh, oh look at this one. Oh, kick to the gut there by James Rolf. Now James with the belly to back. Suplex there by James Rolf. And now James has him up with the power bomb. But no. James. This man is just. He's been, he's been doing things I don't think many people thought James Rolfe could do. But Luca's just been a man who's been on a mission since this tournament. And oh! Front suplex face buster there by James Rolfe. Or Gord Buster. I do believe that's the correct. Name of that move. And look at oh, the psych out punch yet again. And now James picking Luca back up. And James, oh look at oh look at oh look at this lifting Uranagi into a pan. One, two, no. Now look at look at James here now. Arm trap cross face. By James Rolfe onto Luca Khan. But Luca able to escape. Now try to go for a kick there, but but James blocks it. No, James has him up. James has Luca up and oh one, two, no. I believe that's an old of darkness. Fade the darkness, something like that. And Burning Lariat! Burning Lariat! Now Arm Trap Suplex! Now I was picking him up. Oh! In the corner he goes. James with it! Oh my god! Get in the fucking tent with that kick. Oh, try to go for a knife edge chop. And now look at. Look of Luca right here. This is the educated feet of Luca Khan. The educate. Oh, look at look at this standing octopus stretch by Luca Khan. Luca Khan. 
student of, of Minoru Suzuki, the grandfather of, of MMA. And But look at this! Sleeper! Sleeper! That hasn't been a sleeper hold, but Luca able to grab the rope. James not showing any fear right now. He knows that Luca is a submission specialist, but James showing that he does not care with that roaring elbow across the face. Foul mouth, but hard hitting James Rolfe. The one at Luca with the bow! With a brain buster, a variant of the brain buster there, and looks kicked there, and now look at this. Luca, Luca, is he going for, wait a minute, Gotch style power driver? No, oh, Gotch style face buster, neutralizer, whatever you want to call it. And now, Luca, oh, look, 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 Those elbows across the face and then that gotch style slam there. Or cradle slam and now look at this. Russian leg sweep. It floats over. With the punches there by James Rolfe. You know James tossing Luca back into the ring. Now look at James, look at James with the avalanche angle slam. Could that be it? No. That is not it. Now look at Luca. Luca with that block. And now Luca. And then James into the corner. Now Luca. Uh oh. Uh oh. Duh! Avalanche! Butterfly suplex. Goes for the pen. But only gets a two. Oh, try to go for a knee to the head there. But James have a move out of the way. Oh. James just ate that right there, but oh, Luca with a step over there. Now, Luca. Oh my god! What a kick to the head there by Luca Khan on the James Rolfe. And now, Luca. Luca was. Luca was going for the gotch style. But wait a minute! Cold breaker! Cold breaker! Cut up again! One! Two! No! Only a two count. And I have to say, for a man that got clocked it, clocked by a clothesline there, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad Monaghan's doing all right now. Look at this. Got South Slam yet again. Sorry about that. And now tossing James Roll back in the ring. One, two, no. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, important message. And now oh, drop kick to the head there by Luca Khan. Now Luca picking James Rolfe back up. Oh, try to go for the kick there. And now Luke, James with the forearm across the face. And now co standing Kawada kicks there by James Rolfe. Now James picking 
Luca back up. Now Irish steps it off to the corner and oh punch to the gut there. Oh as Luca moves out of the way. James off the rope and oh knee. And now James picking Luca back up. Irish whips into the corner. Hoist Luca up. Whoa. Oh my god. Just hitting Luca across the face of this arm trap suplex. Double arm trap uh, suplex there. No, James. Kick there. James. Brain Buster. On the Luca Con. Could that be it? One. Two. No. James. Oh, try to go for the clothesline, but Luca moves out of the way. Luca. Oh, look at Luca, Luca Con. Oh, my God, with the neck twist. No, Luca picking James back up and look at these strikes yet again by Luca Khan. No, Luca picking James back up. Here's him against the rope. Yeah, look at look at Luca right now. Ah, oh, using the ropes to inflict more damage. Luca picking James back up. Punch. And now Dragon Screw. Those James going to the outside. Very smart there by James Rolfe. There's a reason why he's a former world champion. And look at Luca right now. Luca's on a. Oh my God! Luca has a look of murder on his face right now. This is that vicious side of Luca Khan that people needed to look out for in this entire tournament. Now look, look at Luca. Oh my God! This is why Luca Khan is one of the best and most dangerous men in that ring and now James Rolfe is getting teed off on look at Luca just showing that violent tendency that violent side of his this is where that manure Suzuki train is coming into play wait a minute oh look at James James does not give a shit James with the call breaker out of nowhere could that be it one two but Luca oh Oh, Luca's hand was on the rope, but Monahan was still counting. Oh, look good. Thank God, I mean, at least for his sake, he grabbed. I mean, he was able to kick out. I don't think that would have been a way that many people will love to see this tournament end be a screwy finish. Oh, punch to the gut. Luca moves out of the way. Luca, oh my God, kitchen sink. Luca picks James up. Look at these strikes here by Luca. Oh my god. Oh, Luca picking James back up. Our steps into the corner. Hoisting James Rolf up. And now Luca. Oh my god. Look at Luca right now. Oh my god. James then wait James back up James is like fuck you James is like is that the best you got clothesline clothesline women oh insecurity insecurity I thought James was about to make a comeback but no Luca blocks it in a gotch style pile driver and Luca pecking James back up. Has him up. Gotch style pile driver. Oh my. Wait a minute. Is he going for a trifecta? Is he going for a hat trick? Gotch style pile driver. Books the leg. One, two, three. And Luca. Finishes most wanted, or at least this portion of the most wanted, with the perfect score of 15. 
James put in the effort. He put in a fight against Luca, but near the last couple of minutes of this matchup, Luca was Luca turned it on. Luca was a very dangerous man. But look at James Ruff going down defiantly. And this right here, this was pretty much the end right there. That that step up in Sagiri. There's the first gotch. There's the second gotch style. Pile driver. Cradle pile driver. Rathacom, whatever you want to call it. Luca Khan finishes this Porsche of Most Wanted with 15 points. And James Rolf will not be heading to the semifinals. James put in one hell of an effort throughout this tournament, but in the end, comes up just a little short. But Luca Khan, Luca Khan has etched his way into the semifinals. Can Luca Khan win the entire thing and earn himself a world title match at Prestige? Or are you just gonna have to tune in for most one itself to find out. Whew. But before we get to to the final for the final match of the gold standard tournament, we still have some sponsors we gotta go by. Yep, wait for them to come up on screen. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. Come on. Come on, I know you're there. Alright, there they are. Alright, sponsored by Blue Dot. It's a dot. And by Nobody Loves Me. Ain't making the Charles joke. And the highest angels. Episode 7 on demand. Watch it now. In Airs TV. Remember, new week, new episode of Keeping Up with the Fart Dashians. Airs Friday. And Chippy Cheddars. It's food. Yeah, it's it's. It's food, I think. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our main event for the gold standard. Night number five, Jamal Bedlam versus Jeremy Paisley. What a comeback from Jamal Bedlam in this tournament. Starting off the first two nights with zero wins. But in these past two nights, he has been an absolute beast. He wants it. He needs it. He wants to be VW World Champion. He finally wants to get that opportunity once again. He wants to get that third chance at that title at Prestige. Will third time be the charm? Or will the man who he'll be going up against, fellow Unchained Sablemate, Will he win the the second the second biggest uh, match of the of the year? We originally saw, uh, as I'm talking about Jeremy Paisley winning the men's Ashes of Eden Rumble, the Adams Rumble, back at Ashes of Eden. Can he 
Can he do do it tonight? Can he beat Jamal Bedlam and get an opportunity at the semifinals and win it up and and get the overall win? Will he get the opportunity at Roman or Claudio at Prestige? Both men. This is gut check time for them. Both men sitting at six points. Only one man can get that nine point. James Rolfe finishing the night with seven. One of these two men will finish off with nine points. They will get Luka Khan at the semifinals. Again, both of these men have, just like pretty much everyone else in this tournament, they ate an L to Luka Khan. They want a chance to to revenge that loss at most one in itself and win this entire thing. We do know over there in the Rising Star we definitely know, we definitely saw the GMR. He's he's definitely going to the semifinals and right now it's all about who's gonna be beating GMR, but it's not about the Rising Star right now. It's about the gold standard. And there's a bit and there's a reason why these this is called the gold standard block. We have seen some of the best wrestling. Some of the best wrestling in the most wanted tournament coming out of these five nights from this gold standard block. We have seen these men just absolutely tear it down. Can Jeremy beat Jamal? Can Jamal beat Jeremy? And we are about to find out. This is our main event. Oh, look at Jamal. Look at Jamal. Look at Jamal. Trying to go for the early pin. Trying to go for the early pin. And now look at Jeremy. Trying to go for the pin himself. Look at this. One. Two. Woo. We're starting off pretty hot here. Oh, Jamal there with the punch. And now Jamal. Oh, again, this schoolboy. But Paisley able to get out of, the, get out of it. Was Paisley. Oh, look at this Jack Knife Pin! Jack Knife Pin! Jack Knife Pin! One! Two! No! Woo! Look at this! Woo, these two men! They know how important this match is! They know how important it is to get the win here tonight! Both men have come so far! Oh, look at this. Jeremy has Jamal trapped in. Oh! Drop kick. Jeremy Paisley. Right now in firm control with that backdrop suplex. On the Jamal Bedlam. But Jamal, oh! Able to escape. Jamal with the elevated flatliner. Goes for the pin. One. Two. No. There's Jamal. Has Jeremy up and oh my god. What a what a reverse suplex there. And now off the rope. And, oh, spear. Let me. Oh, punch the got there by Jeremy Paisley. And now Jeremy has Jamal with that. Regal Cutter. There's Jamal going to the outside. Jeremy. Jeremy's about to. Holy crap! Holy crap! Like a torpedo. Like a heat seeking torpedo. Right at Jamal Bedlam. But now. I swept him into the corner. Now Paisley. With that exploded into the corner. Here we picking Jamal back up. And that pump handle suplex. Wow. 
Knife Edge chopping. Oh, Jamal with, with, returns the favor. And I'll get Jamal with a warning. Shades of his career rival. Former VW World Champion. Zaya Steele, but Jeremy Pace is able to kick out. Woo. No, Jamal. Let's nightmare there. Jamal off the rope. And a bow! Chugger for the PK! What a look at Jeremy! Woo! The Jeremy's gonna go for the pin there, but no! Able to escape! Jeremy! Duh! Oh, Snapdragon! One! Two! No! No, Jeremy! There's Jamal with that. Oh my god! Fall away into the bridging pin! One! Two! No! Woo! Woo woo woo! The match! Knife edge chop! Knife edge chop! Oh, there's Jamal! Has Paisley up! Military! Pressed into a slam! Into a power slam! One! Two! No! There's kick there by Jeremy. And a whoa! What a neck breaker! Jeremy picking Jamal back up. And now, oh my, oh my god, snap! Pile driver! Hooks the leg! One! Two! No! No, no, no! If it's shop there. And now, oh my god, look at ja! What a military press there by Jamal Bellum. Now Jamal. Oh my god! Butterfly power set out power bomb, but only gets a two. No Paisley. Moving to the outside. Wait a minute. Jamal! Jamal! Oh my god! Holy crap! Jamal Bedlam with a dive! That's a first in this tournament! And now Jamal Wemmett! Oh, I've seen him do this before! Oh, whoa! Oh, I think he caught his leg. I think his leg, his leg caught the rope. Oh, that's, that's nothing that Jamal needs right now. He does not need... Oh, that, that might have just turned into Jeremy's favor. That might have turned into Jeremy's favor. Look right now, Jeremy now capitalizing off the misfortune of Jamal Bedlam. But Jamal, right now able to recover. No, jumping knee! Oh, double stop there. And a drop kick to the back of the head. And now look at this gator roll here by Jeremy. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. And now let's hoist and Jamal up. Has him with a gut wrench. Wrestling one on one there by Jeremy Paisley. And now Jeremy, backdrop driver. Now Jeremy pecking Jamal back up. And snap. Regoplex! One! Two! No! Oh, I just realized Paisley's bleeding right now. But Jamal able to escape. Jamal, oh my god. Oh, look at Jamal with the Yakuza Cutter! Or Yakuza Cutter, whatever you want to call it. One! Two! No! Let's, I'll check out for the punch here, but Paisley blocks it. Now, Jeremy. I just lift Jamal over the ropes. Let's Jamal. Wait a minute. Let's Jamal. Oh, there we go! Got it that time. With that slingshot. Shoulder block there. And, oh, power bomb. And now Jamal oh, trying to. That's the thing about this match. When you, when you think it's going to go in one man's. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! One! Two! No! 
Holy hell! No, hoisting Jamal back up. No, Paisley. What is, oh my god, an exploder from the top rope! Hooks the leg, one, two, no! Holy fuck! Oh, stop there by Jeremy Paisley. Ah, oh, kick to the face. Now Jeremy. Oh! Try to go for the moonsault, but Jamal moves out of the way. <coughs> and, oh my god! What a, what a drop there by Jamal. And now Jamal has Paisley up against the ropes there. And uh-oh, it's time for the savage beat of the drums. Oh my goodness gracious. Cross the chest and women. Oh! Well, that one's to the ear. And now Jeremy Paisley's ear is now ringing and stump to the gut. Now look at Jamal there. Oh, forearms across the face. Went up, kick to the gut there. All right, switch into the corner. Hoist him up. And now, wait a minute, what is this? Oh my God, look at Paisley. Look at Paisley. Look at Paisley. Look at Paisley. Oh my God. Paisley. Oh, sweet Jesus. Suplex into the final cut, but only gets a two. And whoa, just ah, like out clothesline. The Paisley got wrench, power bomb. One, two, no. And now Jeremy. Oh my God! To the outside there. No Paisley. Ah, oh, punch in the face there by Jamal. And Jamal was hoisting Paisley up once again. Into a power slam. Pendulum swinging back and forth for these two men. And what the fuck? Oh my god! Buckshot obey! Buckshot obey! One! Two! No! What the hell? You can also say that was a shade of their fellow stable mate, Claudio. That was a buckshot obey! And now Jeremy, oh my god! Jeremy ate a buckshot obey! And a moonsault from the springboard position. Now Paisley. Oh my god! Superman! 451! Two! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why about Jamal? What the? Oh my! Woo! 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 They're almost into by the way. Jamal does it again! Come that time! Holy hell! These two! Holy shit! These two might be having match of the tournament right now. Wait, wait. Jamal! Jamal! outside Jamal Bedlam he's crazy oh my wait a minute charm city bomb to the outside and now tossing Paisley back into the ring hooks the leg one two no and now, big boot. There by Jamal Bedlam. And now, J what? What the? Ah! J 
Jamal Bedlam, what the fuck? Hello, Jamal! 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 What the bam bam soap? But Paisley moves out of the way now, Paisley! What the half and half? Suplex! And now Paisley to the top rope! Shooting Star Press! But leg on the rope! Now Paisley! Back up! Paisley! Headbutt! Diving! Headbutt! By Paisley! And now Paisley! Here we go! Path to Redemption! Jeremy Paisley's going to most wanted! One! Two! No! No! Do it, bud! Jamal has no quit at him! Where Jamal has Paisley up! Savage! Cyclone! One! Two! No! I need an aspirin! Holy fuck! These two are absolutely crazy! Holy, look at this, look at this by Jamal. What's it gonna take? Oh my god, what a flapjack! That basically kicks up. Now Paisley sends Jamal to the outside. Paisley, he's about to fly. Paisley, got him. Dive to the outside. There by Paisley. Now Paisley, sending Jamal back into the ring. Paisley, that's Jamal. All right, steps into the corner. Now Paisley, what's he doing? What's he thinking here? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh my God, is he thinking? Is he thinking? Awesome bomb! Awesome bomb! One, two, no! Jamal's back up. He took it. Oh my god. Has him up. Military. Power slam. Now Jamal. Gut wrench. Power bomb. Hooks the leg. One. Two. No. Holy crap. Holy crap. Crap, this match has been absolutely crazy. And now Jamal, wait a minute, Paisley's fighting back. Paisley with the half and half. Dumping Jamal on his head. No, Paisley, wait a minute, blue thunderbomb! One, two, no! Why did you lost back up? Hey, but no, you're being that guy blocked. Now these two blocking each other's strikes. And now Jamal. Jamal with the slingshot power bomb. One, two, no. Woo. These two. Have been putting on an absolute classic right now. Now Paisley, chop, kick, kick. Why right, Paisley has? Oh my God, he has Jamal. He has him up. Blade Buster. Hooks the leg. One, two. No. Oh. Ooh, getting gassy now. And now Paisley, standing bone salt. Basically picking Jamal back up, my fence chop, no. Bunch. Head oh my god, what a headbutt. 
And now, punch. Oh my god. Ah, STO takedown. Ladies and gentlemen, we have entered gut check time. Oh my god. Two minutes left on the clock. We're barely two minutes. I mean, Paisley's up. Paisley. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Jamal's leg. Jamal's leg. Paisley. Northern Lights. Oh my god. Northern Lights. Enter our brain buster. But Jamal moves out of the way. Mo able to crawl and roll out of the ring. Holy crap. Now Paisley. Oh. Jamal blocks himself from being tossed back in the ring, but Paisley shoves him. Gets him back into the ring. It's Paisley. Kick. Paisley. Oh my. Holy crap! With his own cut wrench. Power bomb. And now Paisley to the middle rope. Paisley with the best moon salt ever. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. No, we got a minute left. We got a minute left. Jamal's back up. Jamal has Paisley. Has him up. Savage Cyclone. Is that it? One, two, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nerd, the nerd might. The nerd. We might see a triple threat because the nerd. Because this is one of these guys. If they get. Might see a fatal four way now. We're actually close to, to a possible fatal four way. Because these both guys will have women. Paisley! I mean, Jamal! Jamal is Paisley up! Savage Cyclone! Savage Cyclone! Jamal! Women, what are you doing? Don't pay, Larry! Ten seconds! One, two, Three, five seconds left to spare. Jamal Bedlam goes the most wanted. Woo! Jamal Bedlam. Luca Khan. There is your semifinal. That's your finals for the Gold Standard Block. Jamal Bedlam and Jeremy Paisley put on an absolute clinic here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But in the end... Jamal Bedlam with this trifecta with Cordo Bay, Savage Cyclone, and then the full upload Obey with five seconds left to spare on the clock. Jamal Bedlam goes to most wanted. That, that is how you cap off this historical most wanted tournament with a matchup like that Jamal Bedlam can he do it can he do it can he go all the way can he beat Luca and then can he beat the rising star winner between GMR and whoever Ooh, my God. And oh, look at There's Luca. There's Luca Khan. Jamal Bedlam. And Luca Khan. Staring each other down right now. Eye to eye, eye, eye each other right now. These two men. We'll meet again at Most Wanted. Who is going all the fucking way? We'll see you then. There, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the I'm Jason Brown. And you all have a great night.